Hey everybody, this is Chris with Simple Tech with this week's Simple Tech tip for you. Today we got a five minute ride. This is gonna be great for the switcher or the new Mac user that wants to start customizing their Mac. And what we're gonna talk about is the dock. The dock is that beautiful bar at the bottom of your screen that is shortcut to all the applications that you use frequently. And in order to get the most out of that, we're gonna figure out how to customize it. So if you're ready, let's get started. Now, if you are new to the Mac environment or switching from a Windows computer, you can kind of think of this kind of like as your start menu where you'd hit the start button or the Windows button and you get a list of like your applications that you have on your machine. Well, this is very similar to the same thing. However, it's not all of your applications. It is just the ones by default that are part of Apple. So the ones that you see on the bottom of your dock when it's new out of the box are all Apple applications. That does not include anything that you may have installed on your own, say Microsoft Office or Google Chrome or Dropbox, OneDrive, who knows what you might be installing on your computer. And if you need shortcuts to those items, then we're gonna to need to put them on the dock to make it quick and easily accessible to you so that way you can use them. So if you take a look at your dock here, you start with your finder in the far left-hand corner and you move all the way over to the right side, which is your trash can. Now, this first section, when you can see where my mouse, where this little white arrow is right now, where I'm moving the dock up and down, you can actually click and drag and resize your dock immediately, like you can see I'm doing, but I'm trying to just get your attention to there. Everything to the left of those two white arrows are the applications that you have shortcuts to on your dock. The three that you see here to my right, iMovie, Loom, and QuickTime Player, those are recent ones that don't stay on your dock. So those three will change based upon applications that you open. So if I were to open something else, Loom or iMovie would disappear and then that application would come into its place essentially. And then you have some folders over here off to the side. So production is my home folder for this account and then my downloads folder and then of course the trash can. So to add and remove items, quick and easy. The easiest thing to do is if you're in the Windows world and you're used to a right click and you've set that up on your Mac, you could just simply right click. You can come here to options and then you can choose remove from dock. And when you do remove from dock, it just simply disappears. I don't know if you heard the audible sound it makes. It just is like, and then it's gone like magic, right? Now, another thing that you can do is simply just drag, click and hold your mouse button and drag the application off. And when you do so, you can see the word remove appears above it. And now when I let go of my mouse button, as of right now, again, it does the same thing and it removes it. Now, personally, I do the drag and drop one when I am customizing my dock because it's just a lot quicker than right clicking, choosing options and remove from dock on everything. So I will just simply drag them up click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, right? And you're just taking those right off of your dock. Now, let's think about adding things to your dock. So as you can tell out of the box, you have this downloads folder. It doesn't look like a folder, but it's there. But you can see I added this one and it is my home folder, right? So if you wanted to add a folder or an application to your dock, it's the same as removing it. You simply drag and drop. Now we talked about recents here. Let's say I wanted iMovie to stay on my dock. I can just simply drag it over to the left side of that black little bar that I was dragging earlier and let go. And now it's on the left side here. So now it will stay there, right? I can do the same thing with Loom. So those things will now stay on my dock. They'll never disappear. Even if I open different applications. QuickTime on the other hand, and what I mean by that is I'll remove QuickTime, but then I will add it, I will and you can see it shows back up in Recents, right? So anything that you have in your Recents that you tend to move, use a lot, you just simply drag it over and put it on the left side of this little black line here, and you'll be able to save that onto your dock. Now let's say you just installed something and it's in your Applications folder. I find the easiest thing to do to add into my dock from there is to simply come to my Launchpad, open it up and I'll just choose this application here, this image optum. I'll click and hold it and I will drag it down. And you see, as I'm holding the mouse button down and I'm dragging it around, the applications are making room 
for me to drop it. And when I find the spot where I want to place it, so let's say I want to put it over here, I just simply let go. And now it is there on my dock. And again, I can just pull it off and let go and it's gone. Now folders, a little bit different. Folders only go onto this side over here by the trash can. So if you're adding a folder, be careful not to throw it in your trash. But you come into your finder. Oh, and it looks like my finder window's open on another screen. So I'm gonna drag it over here. So let's say I was in, I'm trying to think, I don't have any extra folders made on here right now. So actually, let's do our YouTube videos. So let's just say I wanted this iPhone folder that I have down in my dock for quick access. I simply would click and hold and drag it down. And you can see again, just like the applications, it makes room and then let go. And there it is. So there's the folder. And if I were to click on it, it's going to show me the contents of what's inside that folder. And again, if I don't want it, I just simply drag it off. And you can see this folder never moved. It never disappeared. All these are our shortcuts to these applications and to these folders. So that way you can quickly access them whenever you need them. But that's it. That's your quick five minute ride on how to add and remove applications and folders on your dock. I hope you really enjoyed this video. It's great for the switcher or the new Mac user. Um, and we really hope that you continue to subscribe and like these videos and we'll continue to post them and we'll keep getting into more advanced topics here as we continue to move forward. Thanks everybody for watching and have a great week.